Raised crosswalks are popping up across Oahu and are meant to slow down drivers and keep pedestrians safe. Erica Engel finds out how state officials decide where to put them in a story that's new at 10. Five raised pedestrian crosswalks slow traffic on Kalihi Street, where thousands of students cross the street during the day. But we also have Kupuna walking the area at 4 in the morning. Dark times when we know there's high volume, high speed traffic coming through with a lot of people walking. Raised crosswalks have been completed along Farrington Highway near Waianae High School and are coming to Fort Weaver Road near Ilima Intermediate School and maybe to others. We looked at those areas because historically we see there's high volumes of pedestrians with high volumes of vehicles going at higher speeds than the speed limit. These raised pedestrian crosswalks are helping tremendously in making sure that we change the culture of drivers going through the area. Sniffin says they are three to three and a half inches tall and typically six feet wide and comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act. One Waimanalo resident we spoke with says placing a speed bump at least 15 feet before a crosswalk would be more effective. Having a speed bump, even if you wasn't aware of it, you hit that and you wasn't paying attention to the crosswalk, that's going to jolt you. So you're automatically going to pay attention. These areas that we're putting the pedestrian tables in, it's about 25 to 30 miles per hour on the speed limit. So we're designing them accordingly. If you go that speed limit, it'll be a nice smooth transition over. If you go faster, you're going to feel the bump. Sniffin says the DOT will consider requests for raised crosswalks, not just from officials, but from the public. So we entertain all requests the same. When the public comes in, if you send us an email, you call us. Um, if, uh, if we get it from your legislator or from the neighborhood board, we'll look at everything. He says it doesn't matter if it's a state road or a county road. Just let them know, and they will look into the possibility. You can find contact information on our website. Erica Engel, KHON2 News.